New blockbuster video game for PlayStation 4 comes out tomorrow. Main characters in this one are three androids, but actually the true star might be the city of Detroit. Sean Lay live with a preview of the game and how Detroit comes off in it, or at least the, a very future version of it, Sean. Right now, I'm digging the current version right now at Pop-Off World downtown, Devin. Old school video games I grew up with, Ms. Pac-Man. Look at this, Dig Dug, are you kidding me? Tomorrow, Sony releases Detroit Become Human. We got a preview from our friends at ClickOnDetroit.com. It is mind-blowing, very in-depth, and the star, if you really look closely, is home, our city, Detroit. What does it mean when a game not only get you to play. Welcome to the Detroit experience. When you hold what? the two. Oh, look, that's such a good detail. But also get you to feel. Oh. That's Sony's new game from Quantic Dream, Detroit Become Human, that is released tomorrow. It is powerful, but describing the game is a challenge. Uh. Well, yeah, because there, there's a lot of themes is the problem. We asked Click on Detroit's Jake Gregelis and Dane Kelly, who are playing and reviewing Detroit Become Human, that puts you in 2038 Detroit. Robots, androids are working for us, but there is race and class issues. The androids want to become human, and you guide three androids, like a police detective, through very detailed, intense adventures with a lot of feeling. It's not like a save the princess or shoot the Nazis type game. It's, it's, it's like a drama that you are engaged in. Detroit, this is where it all began. And Detroit, our city, is also one of the constant characters. Each building, each location is a real place. The city is given respect in this game. Nice that somebody in a company that is international uh, put enough care to get the details right, and it makes all the difference, especially if you live here. Cool game, cool guys, Jake and Dane from ClickOnDetroit.com. Check out the work at ClickOnDetroit.com backslash 1D4. That's a neat page. Devin, a couple of takeaways from watching them play that game. In 2038, where the game is based, the people mover lives, and it goes a lot faster. I'm all for that. I hope I'm around to check that out. <laughs> also, look. I played video games in the 80s. Uh, penguin pushing little ice cubes. Pengo, that's what it was called. Pengo. I love that. Uh, I, I, I like you. That was my too. first thing I noticed was uh, uh, there is mass transit in Detroit's future, so we can skip ahead and, that's right. and see what People that is. People Mover goes a lot faster. I I'm, love I'm, it. I'm all, all for that. We can't wait for that. All right, back to Dig Dug with you. Thanks a lot.